Before every home game, the Morgan State football team takes a walk through the new Legends Plaza. This is their way to honor the past as well as to motivate themselves for the upcoming football game. Pew Stadium was host to a competitive football game Saturday between the Morgan State Bears and the Florida A&M Rattlers. Even with great weather and an enthusiastic marching band, the fan turnout was minimal, probably due to the team's record this year. The Bears had another productive day on offense with a strong game from both running backs Herb Walker and Air Carell. Despite having over 400 total yards for the second week in a row, they still lost 34 to 31. Mistakes once again cost this team a possible win. We weren't able to find a way to win a game for our kids. Our kids have been working hard, man. You know, those kids haven't given up. Those kids come to practice every day with a great attitude. They come to meetings every day with a great attitude. They're working their butts off in the weight room. We're trying to get it right in the classroom. And we just got to stay true to our process. Quarterback Elijah Staley contributed to the rushing attack with a 41-yard touchdown run early in the second quarter. The Bears finished the game with over 200 yards rushing. His day was short-lived, though, when he was benched after a lost fumble turned into six points for the Rattlers. Backup quarterback DeAndre Harris entered the game and immediately made plays. He picked up where the offense let off and moved the ball efficiently. DeAndre's doing a good job. He's trying to... Um, do what we ask and then Eli's trying as well you know Eli's gotten better each of the last couple weeks and I just made a decision where I wanted to try something different and see if we could find a way to inject some life and some energy and Harris looked sharp on a couple throws especially in scoring territory the scrambling quarterback brought a different element to the Morgan offense often running the ball himself rather than handing it to a running back he finished the game with two touchdowns both to right receiver Amanta Poti in the end Morgan cannot stop Florida A&M's offense, giving up three touchdowns to opposing quarterback Ryan Stanley. Mistakes also cost the Bears with two missed field goals and a costly interception thrown by Harris late in the fourth quarter. Uh, really, the play was it was supposed to be a post, but you know, it was I shouldn't have threw the ball anyway. You know, it was, it was just a bad read by me. I'm not too responsible for that. So, you know, if you want to talk about being any type of a good football team. When you play close games, you got to find a way to win them. You know, I'm, I'm disappointed we lost. I'm proud of the effort and the attitude that our guys kept to the end through a quarterback change and playing through some injuries and some things like that. But you got to find a way to win those. The Bears had three games left in their season, including one at home on November 18th. They're going to have to turn it around if they hope to improve on last year's record. This has been Blair Young for Bear TV News.